Mr. Chairman, as you join us now, he's a legal practitioner and a good governance advocate. Thank you for coming on today. Good morning. Well, we just had uh, uh, the a member of the National Assembly say what we do need, rather than all of this call for restructuring, is restructure our minds, basically. So he just thinks uh, many of these calls to him appear bogus. Do you get the same sense? Well, is, uh, the, you are very right in encapsulating his position, that they appear bogus to him. You know, the expressway may be clear, but if, if you have blood vision, if your own personal vision is blood, that is affected by dust or a congenital sight problem, you will not see the road clearly. So I don't think it is bogus. Discerning minds in this country know that there is absolutely every need to rejig the system. No matter the word you use, devolution, restructuring, change, which is the mantra of the party. What were they changing? Was it just changing Jonathan at Asorok? Definitely no. Nigerians would not have bought into that. They said so many things that were associated with the past government and said, we are going to change those things. And you cannot change without restructuring. So the obfuscation of uh, the concept by people who have vested interest, saying that nobody understands, it has not been fully defined, go to the dictionary. Constitution amendment is one. It's very simple. So I don't think it is bogus, OK? The, the, the concept is very clear, and the, the operationalization of that word for Nigeria is very, very clear. What does it mean to you? Change the current system, whereby there is no equity, there is no justice. Okay? In law, we say equality is equity. That doesn't necessarily mean God has demonstrated that in the five-finger concept. They are working harmoniously, but they are not equal. But each one has its own role and is allowed to play it equitably. I have here demonstrated by illustrations where you have five children in a family. Even if there is only one, perhaps, biscuit remaining, and you decide to give it to the last one, you need to explain to the big ones that you have been taking biscuit since you came to life. This one is last time. I mean, the last in the chain. Allow him, please, to take this. Explain to them. They will be very happy. Let me ask you, let me pick you up on that, this, uh, okay. this uh, analogy. Just before the return of Mr. President to the country, we had the National Assembly carrying out the function of Constitution Amendment. And in that amendment, some of the expectations of Nigeria, as, as it were, looking at uh, devolution of powers, looking at uh, the 35% for women participation in governance and a, a whole lot of other concerns that were really thrown out by this same assembly. Uh, now you have the president back mm -hmm. and he says the legal way to go about any restructuring, you should go to the National Assembly, who are the ones that some people have seen as being against what they actually want when they talk about restructuring. Where does Mr. President's speech say the appropriate quarters for restructuring is the National Assembly. How does that work for the people of this country? Um, you know, there was this uh, saying by somebody, if a lascivious son would want to rape his mother, let him not blame it on the skimpy skirt she was wearing that evening. I don't know whether I get my drift. That is deep. <laughs> Go ahead, please. If a lascivious son a bad son, let me just put it in ordinary parlance, will jump at his mom. He should not blame it on her skimpy skirt that she was wearing something very skimpy that evening. That was what lured him into doing that. Call a spade a spade. The president